Hello, it's Keith Gazanel from Amp Publishing. Uh, today I'm going to review a uh, video sales letter creation software. Okay, it's called Easy VSL. Uh, now, what this is going to allow you to do is uh, basically take a any script that you have. Uh, you can uh, paste that into this piece of software, and it'll basically create a slide presentation video for you. Okay. Uh, now it has tons of features. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, walk you through all of those features. Now, you know, as you know, anything that has video, if you're outsourcing it, can be very, very expensive. Uh, the costs add up very quick. Um, so this is a very, very inexpensive way to create some pretty nice uh, uh, video sales letters. Uh, I've actually used it myself. We've we've used it on some of our our, uh, our own product launches in the past. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that. Now, uh, as always in my videos, uh, what you see here, uh, this particular version of, of EasyVSL is the front end offer. So when you go to the front end uh, uh, sales page, um, you're and you purchase, you're going to that's exactly you're going to get exactly what I'm showing you right here. Okay, there's no hidden features here. Uh, now there is a, a bit of a sales funnel uh, to it, but those products you do not need to use EasyVSL in the way that I'm going to show you right here. Uh, however, there's some really nice products back there, and um, I'll I'll walk you through those at the end of of, of this video. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. Now, as you see, this is your dashboard. Uh, this is where all the uh, videos you've created will will live. Okay, so right now we're going to create a new VSL. Now you have two choices here. You can either start from scratch, um, which will just give you one empty slide, and you can add additional slides uh, as you go, um, or we can paste the text. Okay, so if we already have a, a script created, we can just copy it and paste it. Uh, I believe it's on the next step here, and it will create each of the slides uh, automatically for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and just name this demo, and we'll hit OK. All right, so our next selection here is going to be our background. Okay, so there comes stock with, I don't know, 20, 30 different, uh, different versions. You can also add your own background image here. Um, and you can choose your fonts. Uh, so there's a ton of different fonts loaded on here. For now, I'm just going to pick something generic, uh, as well as your slide animation. So this is basically the transition between slide to slide. You can choose how you, you know, what you want it to do. Fade, slide up. Uh, as you see, there's a, a nice variety there to choose from. Okay, for now, I'm just going to leave it at none. Um, so I'll go ahead and let's see, did I pick? Yeah, I'll pick that gradient. Um, and actually, we'll pick this one and move to the next step. Okay, so now right here, because I've chose to paste my text in, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I have a little script here that's just, just generic uh, that I can <clears throat> paste in for this example. Okay, so there it is right there. Now, what you're going to want to do is we need to add slide marks. Okay, so this is basically where you want each slide to end. Okay, so it's, it's fairly quick. All right, so we just hit that. I want it to go next slide there, next one there, and oh, I actually don't need that little piece, and this one here, here, and that's it. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what it's going to do is create, every time it sees one of these little tick marks, it's going to go ahead and create a new slide for us. So we'll hit next. Okay, so this on this version here, uh, or on this step here rather, you can add some slides or you can edit right in here as well. If there's any little touch-ups that you want to do or simply remove one, um, you can do that uh, as well. Okay, now you'll have an opportunity to edit this again anyways, uh, but it's just a nice presentation, a very easy way to kind of quickly go through and make any small edits that you, that you want to make. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. And as you're going to see, it has basically created all of the slides as I've told it to, okay? You can click through, do what you need to do. You can edit right in here if you need to, uh, or add. Um, so basically, your interface here is um, you have your your alignments, um, your fonts, your images. If you want to insert images, uh, the sizes, you know, basically all the kind of text uh, editing that you would need to do. Um, all those tools are right here. Now up top here we have uh, slide animations. So this is basically what happens to your text. Um, so you can. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's the. Um, this is the uh, slide transition uh, animation. So you can change it for each one. So if on this one I want it to slide and this one I want it to fade up, you can choose different ones however you'd like. Now in the beginning, um, you know it's it's defaulting to none because that's what I chose uh, as as the as the action in the beginning. Uh, had I selected something, then that would be applied to all of these. Now you can easily change that, uh, which is what I like. So you can change the slides, this particular slide's theme. 
um, and then choose the effect. Okay, so now this effect is basically what it's going to do to the graphics on this uh, on each slide. Okay, so it's going to kind of blur as it transitions to the next the next screen. Um, so I'm going to put it on blur. Now what you can also do is a bulk action. You just simply click that. It highlights it in green, so you you're on so you're aware that you are now performing a bulk action. And if I wanted to, I could change the sl the slides theme, and it would do it for every single one of them. Okay, so you'd be able to choose from here, uh, and let's just say nature, and as you see, that all updates right there. Um, and then what we would do is if we wanted to put a slide animation uh, to each of these, like a fade or a slide up or a slide down, we could go ahead and apply those to that as well. All right. Uh, same thing with, with um, the particular text effects. Okay. So we've got all of this. We've got all this set. Um, and now what you can do is you can also add um, slides right here. Okay. Um, so you just simply, you know, click, click the button. It's going to add a new slide at the bottom. You can add in whatever it is that you want to add. Now, one of the really cool features that I really like um, about this is video. You can actually insert any MP4 video uh, right in the middle of, of all your slides. You can actually position it wherever you'd like. And a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and import one right now. <clears throat> Okay, let's see here. Let me kind of navigate to where where I have my video for this. Here, demo. Okay, we'll do this one right here. And this is just a generic uh, video that I had uh, laying around. Okay, so as you see, it has now inserted this video right in between, and I can move these wherever you know wherever I want to move it um, and position it how I want to position it. Now that's very cool if you have a little bit of you know B-roll that you want to insert, or maybe a short demo, or you know whatever kind of transition into an already pre-existing movie. Um, I think that's a very very cool effect, uh, or excuse me, very cool feature to have. Um, so you can go ahead and do that, and you can remove and, and duplicate these these um, these scenes as well uh, just by simply rolling over the settings uh, area over here. So if you noticed, now we're up here on the third step. That's the edit slides. And you can click back and forth between these. Uh, right now I'm going to just save just so I don't lose my lose my stuff here um, as we kind of progress through. Okay, so we'll hit next. Now this is where the power and everything actually kind of comes together. You're actually going to start syncing some audio to it. Okay, so right now uh, I've got my script. If you're going to you notice up here, you're going to see all of your slides. And there's these little check boxes here. Now I'm going to show you how, how we use those check boxes. Now if I had more slides, um, you could use this to kind of navigate you know back and forth through here just depends on how many how many you have up there um, but this is just to basically go through each of the uh, the groupings of slides okay now with audio um, it has a, a few features here so I'm gonna just go ahead and actually import um, a little clip that I have now you can import audio you can record audio right inside which is what we're gonna do next or you can use text-to-speech okay now the text-to-speech um, is okay uh, you know it's more of a kind of a computerized voice um, you know, I mean, if you're really looking to do something professional, I would probably stay, stay away from that and just go with your recording your own voice or import some kind of an audio and have some sort of background track. So right now, I'm going to just import something. Um, and they're all MP3s, I believe. Um, so I go ahead and insert that and hit OK. It's going to import it. And we're going to see. So it's creating waveform. All right. And now, OK, so there we go. We, we see that it has imported in here. And I can actually play this. Okay, you can kind of hear it. Now, what you can also do, sorry, that's a little loud. So let's go ahead and turn it down. So right here is where you're gonna control, stop that, but where you control the volume of each of your tracks. And you could have as many audio layers as you'd like. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually create another one right now. Um, and I'll show you how this gets, how we, we sync up to this, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start recording. Okay, so what we're going to do here um, is, is a couple of things, okay? So we're going to record this audio, and we're going to read basically our entire script all the way through, and then I'm going to show you how we time it up to each of these, um, each of the slides. Now, in our circumstance, we have a video inserted in here, so there's this This will be done a little bit differently if, um, if there were no video. We would just want to read the entire thing all the way through. For now, what we're going to do is read these first two slides and stop and sync them. Then what we're going to do is get the third slide into our timeline and then continue with slide four, five, six, and seven um, with the you know recording of the audio. So let's go ahead and record this audio. And you can, and you test, can test, test, test. Hi, my name is Keith. Welcome to amppublishing.com. You're about to discover the secret on how to create high converting video sales letters in a matter of minutes. Okay, so we stop it there. Now you can take it, you can play back, you can re-record, do whatever you need to do at that point. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and import that. 
Okay, so as you can see, it now put that, uh, that right here, okay? So, the next thing we're going to want to do is basically sync our slides. And here's how we do that. We just simply go and play. Hi, my name is Keith. Welcome to AmpPublishing.com. You're about to discover the secret on how to create high converting video sales letters in a matter of minutes. Alright, so there, we've sunk the first two slides, right? And we want the third one to come in, and we want it right there, because we don't want to, you know, uh, have any of our our audio on, on top of that either, okay? So we can also shrink this down to get it out of the way. Uh, again, for demo purposes, I'm just showing you, and actually I can probably even get rid of um, get rid of this particular uh, background here. Um, so we know our, our third, um, you know, our third slide is, is going to is going to end, okay? So now that we've inserted it on our timeline. So now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and record uh, our next one. And you can name these whatever, whatever you'd like. So I could name this, uh, you know, whatever, slide one and two. One and two, okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and record that uh, the rest of it here. I've created a short walkthrough video, but stick around as I have a free resource for you I think you're going to love. As you can see, it only took minutes for us to create this VSL. And as promised, I have th three free resources for you to use to help you get started with easy VSL. Simply visit amppublishing.com forward slash VSL formula to grab them. All right, and we stop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and import. Kind of stumbled on those a little bit, but you get the point. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna take this recording, okay, because this is now our recording, and we're gonna put this um, over here, okay? But for now, actually, let's go ahead and just put it here and we'll start off here and start syncing as soon as this thing starts here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and play. I've created a short walkthrough video, but stick around as I have a free resource for you I think you're going to love. As you can see, it only took minutes for us to create this VSL. And as promised, I have th three free resources for you to use to help you get started with easy VSL. Simply visit amppublishing.com forward slash VSL formula to grab them. All right, so now we've got it. Now we've got our um, our audio all syncing to basically to our videos, okay? So as you'll see, when I play back here, and this is just this is just the video part of it, so obviously playing through that video. I've created okay, a short and then walkthrough it hits back video, to our, but to stick our around script. as I have to, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just save this just so I don't lose it, all right? Okay, now this is your preview, okay? So you can basically play back everything right Hi, here on my this timeline um, to get your preview and make your, you know, make your tweaks, um, to, you know, to whatever you, whatever you need to do. Um, so really the only thing left is to publish it. Oh, one small thing before we do that uh, is we want to make sure that we don't have any, um, you know, extra video like this here, okay? So it's very simple to change. Uh, all we want to do is just find the end of our, uh, our audio, which I believe, let's see, I might have missed it there. Let's try it from here forward slash VSL formula to grab them. Okay, boom. And we're just gonna change our duration. Okay, so right now we have 221 is what our duration, that's that's how long our movie is. Uh, the duration is set to five minutes, so let's just go ahead and edit to 221. Two twenty-three. Okay, so it's telling you what our minimum. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, I've not had that happen to me yet. Um, so it's basically telling you you have two two minutes and twenty-three seconds of audio. Um, so you have to use that amount. Okay, so we want to make sure um, that you know that you watch that as well. Okay, so there's two twenty-three. Now we've got everything that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we're going to go to the publish stage. Okay, so now right here uh, you're gonna get a couple of different settings. You're gonna get your quality. Uh, you're obviously gonna be able to choose the destination that you want. You know to to export this to, um, and I'm fine right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and name it. We'll just keep the name the same right now. Uh, you can switch up your your video your video quality um, and enable the meta if you'd like. Now the metadata is gonna allow you to title it, a description, and a keyword. So this is injected into the MP4 uh, file. Um, so you know using for anything that, for SEO purposes, um, you know or, or whatever it may be, uh, you can certainly set your metadata uh, there. You know to to publish. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this, and most likely we'll probably 
pause. It doesn't take too long. It's not bad, and it pretty much gives you a a nice um, you know visual here of kind of where it stands. But it's video, so it takes a little bit of time to process. Um, but overall, it's it's not uh, it's not too bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it here, and we'll resume as soon as it's done. Uh, that took about 65 seconds or so to actually render out. Um, so what's going to happen here is you're going to get um, this screen where you can open your video or show it uh, in the folder. Uh, and you can also now uh, syndicate this so you can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, or Wistia um, right from here. Okay, so right now I'm just going <clears> to <throat> show it in the folder and open it up here. And we'll take a look. Hi. My name is Keith. Welcome to Amp Publishing. You can see some of the uh, effects about that I have applied to secret on how to create um, high converting you know, video sales letters in a matter of minutes. Okay. All right. Hello, so this Steve. is where I inserted uh, my I video. I wanted to show you now. Uh, what I noticed is I actually had it in the wrong uh, the wrong slide uh, because as you'll see, I'm just going to forward through this video and purchase the front end product. Right I've here. created a short walkthrough video, <laughs> but stick I around talk about the, I have a free resource the video here, so I think um, you're going to my bad. Uh, but as anyways, you can see, you get the it point. Took you see it's created it to create this fantastic. VSL. And as, um, in a matter of minutes, I mean, really, that that's how long it takes. Uh, very, very smooth software. Now, this is uh, it is a desktop application, but it's available for PC or Mac, um, so it works uh, works on on either. Um, and I did want to talk a little bit about uh, the price. So as I said, for what you've just seen me demonstrate, it's a one-time cost of $47 and then $10 a month after that. So you're going to pay $47 for that first month, um, just one time, and then it's $9.95 um, every month after, okay? Now, the um, there is a, a nice little sales funnel after. Um, the first uh, one-time offer is actually the... Um, it's basically an enhanced version. So what you're going to get is, I believe it's 50 more background templates, 100 more fonts, and 30 background audio tracks. Uh, what you're also going to get is you're going to get lifetime access to um, to Mark's uh, Mark is from Digital Kickstart. That's who's created this this piece of software um, to his graphic kickstart program, um, which has over 10,000 different marketing uh, graphics that you get all the source files for. So you can certainly edit and do whatever you'd, you'd like uh, with them. That's normally a $27 a month product, uh, but he's giving it away for a one time price. So you'll get all of that stuff, the 50 backgrounds, 100 fonts, 30 background. Uh, tracks plus lifetime to gra graphic kickstart uh, for $97. Now, the next thing in the funnel you're going to see is press play. Uh, press play is a uh, video creation. Um, it basically allows you to put kind of opt-in forms uh, over the tops of your videos um, and different calls to action. Um, you can also, and I believe it also has a landing page builder um, for video, you know, video landing page sites. Um, so it's very cool, cool um, uh, software. I, I suggest you check that out. Uh, that one is, there's two offers to it actually. There's a personal and an agency. Um, the personal is 197 one time and agency is 297 one time. Now, uh, for the last uh, the last uh, one time offer, uh, for those of you out there that always just kind of wanted to get into software creation, um, you know, and start really selling your own products, uh, Mark's offering forty um, different uh, pieces of software, white label software that you can use. Uh, comes with the sales pages, all the marketing materials, uh, as well as obviously the the, the software itself, um, which you can take and sell as your own. You can rebrand it, uh, put your you know put your own brand on the sales page, uh, do anything you want to the actual software, um, or just keep it as is. Um, so he's gonna give you access to 40 uh, of those for a one-time cost of 197. So um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the walkthrough. Uh, very powerful piece of software, I, I love it. We use it all the time. Um, I will put the links to uh, the sales page down in the description. So go ahead and uh, pick up your copy today.